Hello everyone. So today I will discuss about ecosystem. So without any delay, let's move to the video. So first of all, what are the learning outcomes of this lecture? So after this lecture, you will know about that what is an ecosystem, the types of ecosystem, structure of ecosystem, and finally the functions of ecosystem. So these are the topics which I am going to cover in this lecture. First, what is an ecosystem? So as you know, ecosystem is just the interaction between the living organism and their surroundings, or you can say and their environment. So ecosystem is nothing as simple the interaction between the living organisms and how they interact with each other and how they interact with their environment. So that is the ecosystem. Types of ecosystem. So ecosystem can either be small or can a big just like an ocean. So, if the types of ecosystem is concerned, so generally we have two types of ecosystem. First is tertiary ecosystem, then second is aquatic ecosystem. So, first terrestrial ecosystem. So, terrestrial ecosystem it consists of land. Means you can say it's just a land-based community of organisms and their interaction with the biotic and abiotic factors. These terrestrial ecosystems they can be divided into like forest grasslands tundra and deserts now let's discuss these first is the forest so as you know forest is the community of trees simply you can say here you will find lots of trees and the animals that can live in these forest and they animals they just interact with their environment so that is the ecosystem is interaction between the living being and their surrounding then second is grassland so here they are just consist of the herbs and grasses so these are called as grassland ecosystem next is tundra so tundra is the ecosystem which have very low temperature so here the growth is hindered by the growth of the vegetation is hindered by the low temperatures and they have short growing season also then desert so desert as you know it is covered with the sand so it just a uh, barren area of the landscape where there are very poor conditions for the plant and animal life so next is aquatic ecosystem so these are those ecosystems which are present in the water like lakes ponds so these are the aquatic ecosystems and they may be fresh water ecosystem or marine water ecosystem so first fresh water ecosystem so as the name indicates they have fresh water means they do not have salts in them they consist of the lakes ponds rivers and wetlands while the marine ecosystems as the name indicate so they include sea and oceans they generally have the salt in them and you can say they have a greater biodiversity as compared to the fresh water ecosystem next the structure of ecosystem so if the structure of ecosystem is concerned so it is generally characterized by the both biotic and abiotic components means the ecosystem consists of two components biotic and abiotic components so first if you just take a flow chart of ecosystem so it consists of two component that is abiotic component and biotic component the abiotic component is the non living component that may include the climate while the biotic they include the living component that include the living organisms so this biotic component have generally three levels first producers so these are those living organisms that can make the food for the others so that's why they are called as producer means they are producing food for the other organisms then we have consumer so these are those living beings which are just taking the food or just consuming the food made by the producers and finally we have the decomposers so they just decay the organic material or just you can say they just decompose the waste material and the consumers we can have primary consumer so these are those consumer which are which directly feed upon the producers means they just directly eat the food prepared by the producers and we have secondary consumers they com these consumers they just eat the primary consumers and similarly we have tertiary 
consumer which eat upon the secondary consumer so these are certain levels of ecosystem now next is the functions of ecosystem so function of ecosystem concern first that it regulate the ecological process because as you are saying that the living organisms they live with the abiotic factor and they just maintain a balance between these abiotic and biotic factor so that they can survive so you can say they just regulate the essential ecological processes which support the life systems and their stability second function that they are also responsible for the cycling of nutrient between the biotic and abiotic components next they maintain balance between the tropical levels in the ecosystem as you know that there are certain level in the ecosystem so due to this ecosystem there is a balance between this these levels within the ecosystem the next function that it cycles the mineral through biosphere means the minerals which are present so they they just recycle these minerals via these ecosystems and finally the abiotic component help in the synthesis of organic component that involve in the exchange of energy next let's discuss briefly about the food chain that what is food chain so generally the food chain is simply the flow of energy from one organism to another organism so here if you see the producers they just make their food by taking the sun energy or you can say the light energy so this light energy just entrapped by the first producers which are plants and they make their food once they make their food then these are just eaten by the primary consumer here which is the grasshopper because it eat the grass then this primary consumer is being eaten up by the secondary consumer like here it's a mice which eat this grasshopper then in the next chain this consumer will now eaten by the tertiary consumer which is a snake here because snake feed upon the rats and finally this snake can be eaten up by the eagles and now this eagle when it will died so it will decomposed and the fungus will just break down these bodies and turn the nutrients and these nutrients are again available to the grasses so by this the energy flow through this food chain so that's all today guys hope you like the video see you in the next video